Well, we finally made camp. Pretty much this is what it's all coming out of the inner part of the truck. Ah! Shut off your light. Which one? The Larry light. Actually both, because watch. How do you turn it? On the top, on the end. Now your, your phone light is a... Uh, Overpowerful. Wow, that's <laughs> that's a uh, that's a light. Mr. Beam's lantern that the uh, company gave me. Mr. Mm. Beam's gave me this lantern to use. That's amazing. Yeah, I've camped all the way way up up in the Canadian mountains, but uh, I use lamps, but not not that kind. What kind is it? That's an LED. It is an LED, it's huh? An LED. Oh yeah. Okay. That's all right. Here. Want to pull that out? What is it? Fuel? Gas. Mm -hmm. So we'll keep it in another place. Away from the food. Look at that generator. Isn't that cute? Oh, you got the generator as you promised. Isn't that cute? Very nice. But we got no power tools. We don't have power <laughs> tools. Here, pull him out, please. You know what happened to my storage. I know, I know, I know. You got, here, take this, please. Well, you, what happened to my storage? They cleaned you out without telling you. Without it's, telling me, without a warning, they took they all... They robbed me, too, honestly. I told you that. They took my money after I, after I canceled, after I moved out. And he says, well, you got an extra month. And I said, well, I'm out. I don't need it. And he said, well, that's your problem. He's deciding for himself yeah. without contacting the owner, right? But I canceled properly, and he screwed me uh, burnt me. I have to be careful with my language on camera. Here. Oh my goodness, that's heavy. It's cute, isn't it? It is a kind of cutie one. Yeah, you got to record this. My people have seen this, but this, excuse me. What is it? This, this is... Homemade sink? This is a homemade sink with running water. Are all you kidding? Sink with running water. You sit down in a camp chair, and you can sit here and wash your dishes. I'm going to put a um, raised... Raising flap here, workbench. Mm -hmm. You can sit here and wash your hands, wash your dishes, brush your teeth while sitting in a camp chair. I hate, you, ever, you know how you're bending over a sink all day washing dishes and your back hurts? At least I, I hate because the sinks are made short. I'm going to be sitting right here comfortable. Where is the pump? There's, it's a car windshield washer pump. 12 volt windshield washer pump. Oh, well, that's a... Uh... We'll be having it, we'll have all it set up as soon as I get the tarp out and we set up our uh, shelter. Nice. Some of the goodies I got in this place. What right. else you got? Here's the poles for the, sh for the shelter. All our poles. Oh, cool. Now, I've never done this, so I'm making it up as I go along. So I don't know what I'm doing here. Well. We're going to make a shelter. Well, we did mention, right? We did say it is a experimental uh, survival trip. I'm a truck driver and I survive on the road. And it's a different life out there, but I know what's it like being in the mountains. Do you know back in 19... 1990. This is a big tarp. This is going to be our shelter. 1996. I've, I've camped near Canadian mountains with a buddy of mine. It was minus 8 degrees. We did not have a heater. We didn't have any mattress on the ground. We put the sleeping bags and we slept right on it. And within the tent, at minus 8 degrees, Troy. Cotton balls of snow coming out through the sky, landing on the ground. We had four to five, six feet of snow. And that's what we did. We put the tarp just the way you did. We set the tent over it. Yeah. We couldn't go any further, deeper, because a heavy snowfall. It was a snowstorm. Can I get a hand? And this was in 1993. If I have a picture of that, I can show you. You can see how Here, take that deep it is. Throw this out. Okay. So go roughly where the uh, camp is going to be, underneath it. In case it rains, 